the survivors of Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School in Parkland, Florida, are using this tragedy to speak out, to affect change, to make sure that no student in America has to fear for their life or fight for their life in their school, a place where they should be safe. So a lot of people feel inspired by these students because they're turning tragedy into something bigger. They're using this as a launching point for their activism. However, one former congressman and CNN contributor named Jack Kingston decided to take it upon himself to attack these students, literally. So he responded to an article about how students are planning a walkout to protest America's lax gun laws, saying this on Twitter about the students. Oh, really? Quote, students are planning a nationwide rally, not left-wing gun control activists using 17-year-old kids in the wake of a horrible tragedy? Hashtag Soros, hashtag Resistance, hashtag Antifa, hashtag DNC. So this was obviously an idiotic comment to make, not just because it's insensitive, but because the anti-gun lobby in America pales in comparison to the pro-gun lobby. We often focus on the NRA, but... There are other very large pro-gun organizations like Gun Owners of America who have a lot of lobbying power, who contribute to politicians. To, so to suggest that the anti-gun lobby could even do something like this on a grand scale just shows how out of touch you are and how ignorant you are. But again, to say this, to directly imply that these students don't just care about the issue and that they're paid protesters, it's just fucking despicable and dumb. So he was on CNN to talk about this since he is a CNN contributor. And thankfully, CNN actually called him out. Do you think that, Jack? You think? You're serious? Allison, you think these kids let, aren't let acting say, on their own volition? Uh, Allison, I think it's a horrible tragedy. And I'm heartbroken that young uh, people have gone through this. And I hope that it never happens again. Mm -hmm. But I also know that their sorrow can very easily be hijacked mm -hmm. by left-wing groups but do you who think have an agenda. I, I, well, let's ask ourselves, do we really think that, and, and I say this sincerely, do we really think 17-year-olds on their own are going to plan a nationwide rally? I, I would say to you very plainly that uh, organized groups that are out there, like mm -hmm. George Soros, are always ready to take the charge, mm -hmm. and it's kind of like instant rally, instant protest, yeah. and those hey, Jack, groups are ready to take it, that, Jack, take I, it to I'm the sorry, streets. I have to correct you. I was down there. I talked to these kids. These kids and, were what, Jack? These kids were wildly motivated. I talked to these kids before they knew the body count of how many of their friends had been Allison, killed. No, Jack. No one had talked to them yet. They okay. hadn't been indoctrinated by some left-wing group. They well, Allison, were motivated from okay. what they saw and what Allison, they endured I don't doubt, during that I don't, ordeal. I don't doubt their sincerity. Yes, you I, do, I'm Jack. Abso I, I absolutely know these children are heartbroken, but I also know they probably do not have the logistical ability Jack, to plan a nationwide rally silly. without it being hijacked by groups that already had the pre-existing anti-gun Yeah, Jack, anti Jack, that's, uh, Jack, it's just silly. They're already doing oh, it. They're on buses well, okay, going to the Allison, state legislature today. And, they're 17 years old. And, they can figure this out. But and they, they have the money for the bus, and they're ready to go. I mean, I just have a hard time wow. believing it. Now they go on to debate. He goes on to blame violent video games and um, to suggest that mental health is really the issue. And really, this is some Alex Jones-level conspiracy bullshit right here. Anytime there's a protest ever on the left, what do Republicans do? Well, since they're afraid of grassroots, they suggest that that's not really grassroots, that's AstroTurf. But really, when we see AstroTurf, it occurs from right-wing companies. Companies like internet service providers, AT&T, Fidelity Communications, who create these AstroTurf campaigns to make legislators think that Americans are against net neutrality when really the overwhelming majority of the country supports net neutrality. So we don't have to resort to AstroTurf because we have the real grassroots on our side. Right-wingers and multinational corporations, since they're not looking out for our best interests, they have to resort to AstroTurf since they don't have people power behind them. So anytime... There is a left-wing protest. This is what they do. They did it for the Women's March, which is ridiculous. There were millions of people across the country, and they suggested that George Soros paid every single one of them to march. Well, I had people and friends who attended the Women's March. <laughs> so I know that they're not paid by George Soros, 
because they're not in contact with George Soros. George Soros is not that powerful. Yes, he buys politicians and he's a problem, and we have to fight him from the left, but to suggest that all of these protests are fake and funded by George Soros or Antifa or the DNC is absurd, and it makes them look like idiots. But thankfully, I don't even really have to spend that much time debunking what this idiot said. One, because CNN called him out for it, and two, because the students who survived this tragedy actually decided to speak out. And what they said was brilliant. You were listening to former Congressman Jack Kingston there, suggesting that somehow, I guess, you've been co-opted, you've been brainwashed, I guess, by left-wing activists. What's your response? Not a chance. These students are motivated. These students are intelligent. The only um, motivation they have is uh, making change. They haven't been contacted by uh, any operatives. They, they are doing this on their own with the support of their families and the people that love them. Brandon, what's it like when you hear people say, you guys don't know what you're doing. You must be having help from somebody else. I think it's very despicable that he would even have the audacity to say that. Um, young people all across this country and over the world should feel that they have the power to make things right. And especially in the wake of a tragedy, we really show who we truly are. So to say that just because we're young, we can't make a difference is not right. And he should apologize for that. Delaney, have you been hearing this? Absolutely. I think with any movement, there comes this amount of hating and trolling and people telling you that you're just a little kid, you don't know what you're talking about, or you're a puppet. But ultimately, we have to, we have to move past all of that because the amount of support that we're getting is so overwhelming compared to everything else. So those students have more class than a former congressman. And I can't help but ask, I'm sorry, why does CNN have him on their payroll as a contributor? Like, I'm not implying that he should be fired because he said something stupid, but I'm asking why he was hired ever to begin with. I mean, they also hired Corey Lewandowski. We had MSNBC recently hire Hugh Hewitt. Why do you hire someone who's a complete buffoon and lunatic? And then you act outraged when they say something stupid. I know that that host didn't hire him personally, but I mean, if you keep hiring these idiots, then you are constantly making sure that Americans hear their message. And even though most people will hear what that idiot said and think, oh, well, he's a dumbass. Let's just dismiss everything he says from now on. There are some Americans who buy his bullshit, who buy what he's selling. And again, this was a former congressman who said something that dim-witted. Let me, let me tell you this. If you've ever doubted whether or not you are capable of running for Congress and winning, that idiot that dumbass right there who said something so insensitive, so stupid, so bereft of logic, he won. If he can win, anyone can win. So again, I'm really glad that the students were able to defend themselves. I'm glad that CNN gave them that opportunity. And I'm glad that for the first time in a long time, CNN did their job and they called this idiot out because that is one of the dumbest things I've heard. And we've heard a lot of dumb hypotheses about what caused gun, you know, the, the mass shooting and what causes mass shootings. Todd Starnes suggested it's the devil and gay people <laughs> and pornography. We have uh, the Kentucky governor blaming video games. So we're hearing a lot of stupidity, but I think this, this stands out. It tops all of that. This is the dumbest thing I've heard. This segment of The Humanist Report was brought to you by 7coffeeroasters.com. They're a minority-owned small business in Seattle, and they specialize in roasting unique and delicious coffee that's not actually roasted until you've placed your order. And the best part is that they actually ship out all orders within 24 hours, so you get your coffee and it still tastes fresh when it arrives. And to boot, they're also a progressive company that pays their workers a living wage and actually cares about the country. So to support them and experience the deliciousness of their coffee, you can check out 7coffeeroasters.com.